Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the top three richest rappers and how they got their money. At number three, we got Dr. Dre with a net worth of $550 million. How they got wealthy? Dr. Dre started his early work with NWA, Death Row Records, and then began his own label, Aftermath Entertainment, in 1996 and signed Eminem and 50 Cent to his label. He then co founded the company Beats Electronics with Jimmy Iovine, which went on to make millions from its 2014 sale to Apple for a total of $3 billion. He makes his money from businesses, investments, and performances. The first job. Being around at the LA nightclub Eve After Dark, he got a chance to join the World Class Wrecking Crew, which performed in nightclubs all over LA. This is where he came up with his Dr. Dre persona. First success. His first success came from working with the NWA, which teamed up in 1985. The group's second album, Straight Out of Compton, sold more than 2 million copies, which was released in 1988. In 1992, Dre dropped his first album, The Chronic, which became a huge hit. What they spend their money on? Spends 3.2 million a year in mortgages and 2.3 million a year on entertainment. Also spends 21,000 on cell phone bills and another 104,000 on auto related expenses. Coming in at number two, we have Diddy, with a net worth of $1 billion. How they got wealthy? While delivering newspapers, he gained six routes in just a few months. He knew that he needed to do something else and didn't want to deliver newspapers forever, and got a job as an intern at Uptown Records in New York. By 1993, when Diddy was 24 years old, he was fired from Uptown and followed his passion for music. He gained enough attention and success for him to start his own record label. He founded Bad Boy Records, which had its highs and lows. The label managed to do quite well for itself. And as time went by, he found himself signing some major deals, including the Notorious B.I.G., Faith Evans, and Craig Mack. Most people think that he made all his money from music, but he actually managed to gain $900 million net worth from his side projects, such as having his own clothing line, major stakes in a bottled water company, and even part owner of Revolt TV. Also, in 2017, Diddy scored his own documentary titled Can't Stop, Won't Stop, Bad Boy's Story. Not to mention, Diddy became the face and part owner of Ciroc, in which he gets 50-50 split profits from Ciroc sales. When Diddy isn't making music or investing in products, he is a judge on the Foxes, The Four. Not only has he been in TV, he has made several movie appearances, one of them being Get Him to the Greek. The first job. His first job was when he was 12 years old. He served as a newspaper delivery boy. He then worked at a diner and even cleaned bathrooms. First success. Craig Mack led Diddy to his first major song in the Billboard with Max Flavor in Your Ear in 1994. This happened just a year after making his label. Puff Daddy's debut album came out in 1997 titled Puff Daddy and the Family, No Way Out. His song, I'll Be Missing You, debuted at number one on Billboard's Hot 100 chart. The song stayed at number one for 11 weeks. This was a tribute to the notorious B.I.G. who had passed away that same year. What they spend their money on? Sean Combs owns many top of the line cars, often contributes to charity, such as Daddy's House programs, which he formed in 1995. Diddy also spends his wealth on real estate. And finally, at number one, we have Jay-Z with a net worth of 1.5 billion. How they got wealthy. Ever since a young in Jay-Z lived in poverty, violence, and drugs in the Marcy Projects in Brooklyn. Jay-Z used rap as an outlet from all this negativity he saw on a daily basis. From drug dealing to then starting Rockefeller Records to selling around 100 million records worldwide, making him one of the best-selling artists in the world. Been nominated for many awards and have received 19 Grammy Awards to date. Def Jam paid $10 million to buy Rockefeller Records in 2004. Jay-Z was still the president and CEO of Def Jam as he continued to grow his wealth alongside other artists on the label such as Kanye West. Besides from music, Jay-Z alongside Damon Dash was introduced to the clothing scene and hence Rockaway was created in 1999. In just 8 years, the brand was purchased by Iconics Brand Group for $204 million. Jay-Z is still the CEO of the brand, and in 2007, 
the brand had made $700 million in sales. After music and clothes, Jay-Z was set to invest into nightlife. The 4040 Club was founded in 2003 in New York City. The club since then has added more locations. Jay-Z was also a stakeholder of the Brooklyn Nets, which he sold in 2013, in which he got a return of $2.35 million for his initial $1 million that he had invested. In that same year, Jay-Z had launched Rock Nation Sports. It launches a collaboration with CAA to handle the marketing and representation of athletes. After selling his stake in the Brooklyn Nets, he shifted his stake into the Barclays Center. He also tried taking on Spotify with his 56 million purchase of Aspro, which is a Swedish tech company. In 2014, Jay-Z purchased Ace of Spades, a champagne company, which soon became one of the most popular brands in the market. In 2015, Jay-Z purchased Tidal for $60 million, which then he sold 33% stake of the company to Sprint, which is an estimated $200 million. Jay-Z is also part owner of De Ose, another alcohol company. Recently, he has launched his own cannabis line called Monogram in 2020. The first job. He didn't actually work an actual first job. At an early age, he didn't want to work a regular low-paying job, so he decided to go into drug selling. But this all ended when he decided to fully go at music. First success. When founding Rockefeller Records with two friends, Kareem Baruch and Damon Dash in 1996, this had made his album Reasonable Doubt turn into a possibility, which then was a stepping stone in Jay-Z's career and had developed him as a rising star in the hip-hop industry. His album, Hard Night Life, brought recognition and success into his life, which had won Jay-Z's first ever Grammy nomination. He followed this with numerous hit singles and top-ranking albums. What do they spend their money on? As you can see of how Jay-Z got rich, he likes to invest his money in many different products and companies, also likes to buy art and real estate. You can't forget about cars and what he spends on his family. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Leave a like and comment down what surprised you the most. Until next time.